championship match. Isaiah Hogan Jr. from Clovis versus Nick Boggs, a senior from Riverside. All right, 132 pounds, 2014 Top Gun Championship. Hokit, he's in the Red Ankle Band from Clovis. He's taking on the Junkyard Dog, JYD. You'll see what I, what I mean by Junkyard Dog. Wild shots from anywhere on the mat. Nick Boggs, Riverside, Painesville, Ohio, Painesville Township. Boggs, a senior, fifth in the state last year. Hokit with the huge win in the semifinals over Spencer of Perry. So Boggs in the green ankle band. Hokit in the red ankle band. Clovis, both guys in the gold singles. There's a shot by Boggs. Little counter shot by Hokit. And right now if you're a Perry Panther, you're definitely cheering for the Riverside Beaver Riverside's Nick Boggs. Nick Boggs, a senior, uncommitted yet. Hoka a junior for Clovis. And Bercher in for... Oh, Bercher's up next. He's 138. He'll be in third. And Boggs had a win over Whitley. Whitley. And the semis of Walsh. Right now, nothing doing. These guys are just hand fighting. There's a shot by Boggs off of Hokit's shot. The Central Valley of California is pretty good at wrestling. I like, like watching these guys. End of the first, scoreless. Boggs' is choice. He's going down right away against Hokit. And I kept saying earlier that Hokit's win. Oh, man, that was Boggs out right away versus uh, Spencer or Perry was the deciding factor in the tournament. I could be wrong, but... Looks like I'm right so far. Oh, there's a shot by Hokit. 1-0 lead here for Boggs after the quick escape. Boggs, Hokit. And... Shot by Hokit. Boggs. No counter. And there's Coach Glavin and Coach Kazmarek in the corner there. Coach Glavin always looking very professional. There's a double. And Coach Glavin claps him back to the center of the mat. Coach Glavin with a tie on, always looking very professional. He's probably the best dress coach of this finals. Joe Glavin, folks. Also Boggs' workout partner. Frequently uh, sporting fresh black eyes to work. Looks very professional. Shot by Hokit. Boggs. Over under. Hokit. Boggs. Nothing doing thus far. And the rumor has it that Fresno State's going to bring wrestling back, and that would be huge. And there's a double, another double leg. I bring that up because Hokit from Clovis, not to be confused with Fresno, California. It's just in the metropolitan area of Fresno goes to Clovis and that area needs a college team we are riddled with college teams everywhere here in Ohio California has three division one programs check that yeah three it is three Cal Poly Stanford which is nearly impossible to get into and Bakersfield Fresno coming back would be huge nothing not much action here between uh, Hulkett and Boggs. Boggs has had two deep doubles, but they've been on the edge of the mat. There's another deep double. Short time, five seconds. Hook it does a nice job. Gets his hips back. Now they're over under a familiar position. And end of the 
Second period is going to see Boggs winning 1-0. Hocus Choice is down. Boggs going to try and ride here. Boggs was out like nothing. Hoke it should be the same because Boggs not really a rider, kind of a junkyard dog guy on his feet. Doesn't really choose to wrestle. He goes the Ohio route a lot, which is just wrestle on your feet. Hoke it looking to come out. No escape awarded yet. One escape. He pops his head out. And 129 left in the third period. We're tied at one. Hoke it. Boggs. Isaiah Hokett. There's another shot by Boggs. Hokett does a nice job of getting his hips back. And Boggs has pushed the action the last two periods. Takes another shot. We're off the mat. There's a shot by Hokett. Boggs. Good shot of the backside of that official. Boggs hard hands him. Hokett, Hokett doing a nice job. Boggs, there's that wild shot I speak of from out of nowhere. Almost ill-advised. Coach Glavin's got to tell him to stop taking those shots. Hokett's got both Terrapellis in his corner. He's got Terrapelli power. And Hokett getting hard on the head there. And Boggs able to get his butt turned out. And they go out of bounds. Off the restart, 26 seconds left in the third period. And are they going to wait for overtime to score? Or are they going to finish this one in the time allotted? Hokett is looking like he wants to pass the elbow. Another shot by Boggs. Hokett's done a great job. Boggs hooks the leg. Is he going to get it? He's looking for it. He's got the other ankle. Two Boggs with four seconds left. Nick Boggs goes and gets it. Oh, man. It was only a matter of time he kept taking him. And Nick Boggs had to get that one. Hokett needs a reversal. Or a quick escape and a takedown. And it's 4.4 seconds left. And for two years in a row, the Beavers of Painesville Riverside are going to have a champ at the top gun as Nick Boggs takes down Isaiah Hokett. And, they, and the Perry Panthers got to love Nick Boggs right now. He hooked them up. And Riverside picks up a champ. Coach Glavin and Coach Kazmerick got to be proud. 